start the second problem in the bolted connection lead the problem a 12 mm thick plate is lab jointed to a 16 mm thick plate of 410 grade design a joint to transmit a factor load of 70 kilo newton using m16 bolts of grade 4.6 so in this problem they asked to design the connection between a 12 mm thick plate and 16 mm thick plate by using the lab joint the plate strength is given as 410 grade designed to transmit a low factor load of 70 kilo newton the load is already factored one if they given that as a working load means we have to make it as a factor by multiplying the load factor 1.5 the grade of bolt is given as 4.6 so first we have to calculate the strength of the one bolt that is the bolt value that will be the least of the shearing capacity of the bolt and bearing capacity of the bolt if you once calculate the strength of the one bolt number of bolts can be easily obtained by total load divided by strength of the one bolt okay first we will calculate the shear capacity of the bolt to calculate the shear capacity of the bolt vdsp equal to fe by root 3 and then a and b plus nsasp into 1 by gamma mp this formula is obtained from the class 10.3.3 page number 75 so let me see the codal provision how they have provided that formula vdsp they did not directly write the formula vdsp equal to vnsp by gamma mp vnsp have this one so i will directly write the design shear strength of the bolt vdsp is equal to fe by root 3 and then a and b plus nsasb into 1 by gamma mp where fe is the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt that depends upon the grade of the bolt if we are using a 4.6 grade bolts fe will be the first term 4 into 100 will give the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt where n is the shear plane number of shear plane n n means the shear plane cuts at the threaded portion n s means the shear plane cuts at the shank portion okay here we are joining the two plates one of 12 mm other of 16 mm thickness by using lap joint we are placing the one plate is lapped over the others connected by using the bolt so in between the two plates we have only one interface so there is a possibility of occurrence of shear at only one location therefore n is equal to 1 then whether the bolt is a fully threaded ones or partially threaded one accordingly the n has to be varied whether it is n n or n s for the safer side i am always assuming that shear plane is passing through the threaded portion therefore i made the n equal to n n equal to 1 n s equal to 0 therefore the second term whole term is 0 where a n b is the norm uh, net shear area of the bolt at thread at threaded portion the area will be lesser than the the shank area therefore that value is 0 0.78 into pi d squared by 4 here the diameter of the bolt is indirectly means as, as m16 means the diameter is 16 mm m is it is made up of mild steel so i am assuming that the interface location is at the threaded portion number of shear planes n n equal to 1 a and b is 0 0.78 into pi d squared by 4 16 is the diameter of the bolt so i got the a and b value as 157.23 mm squared then n s is 0 gamma m p is the partial safety factor for the bolt uh, this value can be obtained from table 5 page number 30 that value is 1.25 once you know the all the values then substitute in that equation f u 400 by root 3 n n 1 a n b 157.23 plus ns is 0 therefore the whole term is 0 into 1 by gamma mp gamma mp is 1.25 so the value is 29.048 kilo newton initially i got the value in newton by dividing 1000 i got the value in terms of kilo newton as 29.048 kilo newton next one is bearing capacity of the bolt to calculate the bearing capacity of the bolt the code has given a formula VDPP equal to 2.5 kp dt fu into 1 by gamma mp this is obtained from the class 10.3.4 page number 75 let me go to that page and show the formula how they have provided in the code see 
vd pp is equal to vn pp by gamma mp vn pp have a expression this i will directly write that design bearing strength of the bolt vd pp is equal to 2.5 kp dt fu into 1 by gamma mp in this kp is smaller of e by 3d not comma p by 3d not minus 0.25 comma fub by fu comma 1 to substitute the value of e p and d not we have to find out that values as per the code where d not is the diameter of the hole that can be obtained by adding the standard clearance with the nominal diameter of the bolt here the nominal diameter is 16 mm standard clearance is 2 mm 16 plus 2 that will be 18 mm that standard clearance value can be obtained from table 19 okay page number 73 for 16 mm diameter bolt the standard clearance is 2 mm so therefore d naught is 16 plus 2 18 mm then edge distance e to get the edge distance value e we have to refer the class 10.2.4.1 sorry 10.2.4.2 the minimum edge and end distance from the center of the any hole to the nearest edge of the plate shall not be less than 1.7 times the hole diameter in case of seared or hand flame cut edges, 1.5 times the hole diameter in case of rolled machine flame cut, shown and plane edges. So the edge is very smooth, machine, it is made by machine flame cut or rolled from the rolling mill means we can use the lesser value 1.5 times the diameter of the hole. If the edges is having sheared edges, it is rough, surface is not smooth, it is cut by using the hand flame or it is having sheared edges, means we have to use the 1.7 times the whole diameter. I, I assume that always on the safer side, we can use 1.7 times diameter of the hole. Diameter of the hole is 18, 1.7 into 18 give the 30.4 that is the minimum value required as per the code. I have to round off to the on, uh, on the higher side, not on the lower side. This is the minimum required value. If it is 30 mm means we can use 30 mm itself. If it is 30.4 means you should not use lesser than the minimum value. So let me assume that edge distance as 35 mm. Next pitch P, to get the pitch P, uh, I have to use the minimum says class 10.2.2 minimum spacing the distance between the center of the fastener shall not be less than 2.5 times the nominal diameter of the fastener. So 2.5 into nominal diameter 16. So 2.5 into 16 will give 40. So it is a rounded value I will use as it is. I will use the edge distance of 35 mm pitch of 40 mm substitute all the values in that expressions of the four equations e so e by 3d naught p by 3d naught minus 0.25 fub is the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt that is 400 for 4.6 grade bolt fu is the grade of the plate that is 410 substituting all the values i got the four values assuming that the plate is having shear edges 0 0.648 0 0.4907 0 0.97 1 among the four value least is 0 0.4907 that will be your kb once you know the value of kb okay we can substitute all the values in the tdpp equation 2.5 into kb kb value is 0 0.4907 then d diameter of the bolt nominal diameter 16 dt thickness of the plate which thickness has to be used sir here we are joining the two plates one of 12 mm thickness other of 16 mm thickness which will fail first lesser thickness member will fail first therefore I have to use the lesser member thickness that is 12 then coming to the FU which FU has to be used plate is having 410 ultimate tensile capacity bolt is having the ultimate tensile capacity of 400 least among these two has to be used here that is 400 gamma mp is 1.25 by multiplying all this I got the value of 75.371 kilo newton that is the VDPP value. Now we have calculated the shear capacity and bearing capacity. Then bolt value is least among these two value 75.371 this one is 29.048 
least among this two is 29.048 that is the bolt value or strength of the one bolt. Now I will calculate the number of volts required to resist that load. The factor load given in the problem is 70 divided by strength of the one bolt give the number of volt as 2.409. So I will round off this to 3. So provide 3 number of volts in one row. Once the design is over you have to show your results in, in the pictorial form. Okay. So the 12 mm thickness plate is slapped over the 16 mm thickness plate. The bolt is 16 mm diameter a 4.6 grade. The cross section we are able to see only one bolt. If you see in the top view, I am able to see the three number of bolts. This is 35 mm is from the center of the bolt. 40 mm is center to center. Similarly, this is center of the hole to the edge is 35. So, the three bolts are provided in one row.